Hello friends. Now the new case in basics of probabilities and this time we are going to discuss the calculation of conditional probabilities. The information available is P of A is 1 by 3, probability of A 1 by 3, probability of B is 3 by 4 and probability of A union B is given to be 11 by 12. What is the probability of A given B? That is, what is the probability of happening of A if B has happened? And the second question is, what is the probability of B given A? That means, what is the probability of happening of B if A has happened? Now, to calculate conditional probabilities through its formula, first of all we should have the probability of intersection or probability of intersection of the two concerned events. To find the probability of intersection of A and B or joint probability of A and B, we can use the information available. And the information available is P of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now we have to find P of A intersection B. On the other end, P of A union B is already available. So we can change the subject of the formula. So P of A intersection B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A union B. Now we have all the three inform rather probabilities which can be written on the right hand side. P of A 1 by 3 plus P of B 3 by 4 minus P of A union B 11 by 12. Now first of all what is the LCM of these 3, 3, 4 and 12? It is 12 itself. 12 divided by 3, 4 into 1. 4 plus 12 divided by 4 that is 3 3 into 3 9 minus 12 divided by 12 1 1 into 11 11 so it comes to 4 plus 9 13 minus 11 that is 2 by 12 or 1 by 6 this is p of a intersection b now we can calculate these two conditional probabilities. First P of A given B. Probability of happening of A if B has happened or B is also going to happen. That is P of A intersection B. The joint probability divided by probability of the independent event B. Or probability of the second event B. And now P of A intersection B with us is 1 by 6 divided by P of B, 3 by 4 and we are well aware that division of any fraction is multiplication of the inverse so it is 1 by 6 into 4 by 3 3 and 2 so it comes to 2 by 9 probability of A given B probability of happening of event A if B has happened is 2 by 9 similarly we can calculate the other probability that is P of B given A. Probability of happening of event B if A has happened. That is joint probability of A and B. P of A intersection B upon P of A. It is 1 by 6 divided by P of A is 1 by 3. So it is 1 by 6 into inverse 3 by 1. So it comes to 1 by 3. 2. P of B given A is 1 by 2 in this case. So, first we found P of A intersection B through the formula of P of A union B because P of A union B was readily available. It is my suggestion whenever we need to calculate anything before finding the final answer, just use an item from the data available in the question, the item in which formula we can substitute the values and we can find the 
missing item. That's it. Thank you very much.